Hey YouTube, it's Marita. Welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. And we are recording today. So I am answering someone's question who asked me, how do you handle rude patients? She said in her comment that she was not a nurse. However, she did work with uh, people in the hospital setting. Um, I'm not sure if she does admitting or what she does, but she does something in which she has to work with patients. And she just simply said, you know, people are not treating her well. And how do I handle rude patients? And of course, it's going to be from, from the perspective of being a nurse. Okay. So I'm not sure how she would handle it since she's not actually providing patient care. But in general, the rule is the same. I typically understand that people are not at their emotional best when they come to the hospital to begin with. A lot of times, now I work in OB specifically, so therefore you're coming to have a baby in my situation. But in her situation, it may not be as such because of the fact that she does admissions for the entire hospital. It could be a surgery, it could be whatever it happens to be. Um, so when people are not at their emotional best, they're going to behave the way they're going to behave. I keep that in mind. But at the same time, I do know that in my situation, I have a unique job. I won't say unique, unique, but a job to do when I'm going to take care of someone who may not be at their emotional best um, and they are not at their uh, their healthiest um, or that's what in general. But in OB, they have some things like anxiety, you know, that's going on with them. Sometimes they have other psychosocial issues that's going on with them. So I try to keep those things in mind. With that being said, it depends on what the rudeness is. Is it a, is it rude in the sense of like, are we talking about racist rude, microaggressions type thing? Things like that I don't tolerate at all. I'll just let the charge know that I'm not going to be taking care of this person and we're going to change assignments. But when it comes to other issues, I honestly just don't worry about it. I do what I need to do. I document everything accordingly and I move on. The one thing about rude patients in general is I'm not going to tolerate disrespect from anyone. So since I'm not going to tolerate disrespect from anyone, I, I make that known. It's just your presence, your confidence. If you act like you can be walked over, they will treat you as such. That doesn't mean they're not going to be rude. That means that I'm going to do my job and I'm going to leave you alone. I'm not going to be in your room when I don't have to be. And truth be told, I'm not in anybody's room when I don't have to be. But I'm not going to, you know, go and try to make you like me. And I've heard people who say, well, just go and see. No, 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 no. We all grown here. Um, you're coming to me for a service. I'm coming to do that service. And for whatever reason, if you want to be rude, I don't have to tolerate that. So either I'm going to get my job done with your help or I'm not. Or in that case, if you feel, if the patient feels that they want another nurse, hey, help me out. That's fine with me. I don't get caught up in the fact if someone likes me or not. So part of it, the, the dealing with rude patients is you checking yourself to say, have I did anything wrong? Because if I have, then yes, you need to do some service recovery to fix that situation. If you have not done anything wrong, you just walked in and say, hello, my name is, and they're already ugly to you. That's a them issue. And I always make it a point to remember that that is a them issue. That has nothing to do with me. So why am, why am I going to take that energy on? I will not. So with that being said, what do I conclusion? Do? I don't internalize when people have issues, especially when I didn't cause them. If I cause them, I'm going to do service recovery to say, okay, you know what? Maybe I had something to do with this. Maybe I came in with the wrong attitude. Maybe I, I had a poker face on. And there's times where I've actually walked into patients' rooms where I had a look about me. Maybe I'm thinking about something. Maybe I'm focused on something. And it kind of gave off a wrong um, perception of what, what I was feeling or what was going on with me. And if that is the case, then, and they perceived it some kind of way, then of course I'm going to own that. But if that is not the case and they're just blatantly rude, let, let, you know, <laughs> let somebody else do it. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. And I'm not, we have to grow to a point where we, we as nurses specifically, they wasn't a nurse, but we as nurses specifically are not going to be abused. We're not going to be bullied. We're not going to be harassed. And I have made up in my mind that I won't tolerate that from anyone, whether it be with a student, whether it be with other faculty, whether it be with a patient, whether it be with administration, I will not tolerate any type of disrespect or abuse, period. Now, with that being said, some people say, well, you know, if I, if I sit there and say something back, then I may get retaliated, get rolled up, da, 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 da. Guess what? I have options. So I will never be a slave to a job in the sense of not having options to move when I get ready to move. If that environment is that toxic, I don't need to be there in the first place. So we need to work on getting ourselves in situations where 
we can move when we need to move. Let's, let's make sure that we're in an environment that's conducive to our growth and our profession and what we're trying to do. Or if not, we're going to use what we need to use from that job, get the experience we need to get, get from that job, and then we're going to move on. But even still, you're not going to disrespect me. And that's what you have to lead with. I'm not going to be disrespected. Point blank, period. Get somebody else to do it. So, excuse me, I have declined patient assignments and people have decided they didn't want to have me because of the fact that they knew I wasn't going to put up with a, with a BS. That's okay. That made for an easier shift when we already knew we, we weren't going to work. I don't take anything to heart like that because at the end of the day, people have their preferences. And if I'm not it, I don't care. I, I don't care. We need to get out of the mindset, especially as nurses or healthcare providers, get out of the, the mindset of, I want someone to like me. I don't care about that. I don't care about being liked. And that's what's wrong with a lot of society today, especially nurses. We want to be liked. I don't care. I don't like everybody. So why would I expect everybody to like me? But I don't expect everybody to be rude to me, especially if I hadn't did anything to them. That is the difference. So make sure that you are leading with your best. And if they're not leading with their best, they're not in a, an emotional good place at that moment, then understand that's coming as a them issue and not a you issue. Don't take on their energy. And that sums it up. So thank you so much for asking the question about how to deal with rude patients. Uh, please, anybody have other comments, leave or questions or video suggestions, leave that below. Until the next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.